What's up YouTube and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the last door edges of the Mega Mix. Only on a Rubik's Cube which I'm going to be comparing today, you would just, you would solve the whole white side and then permute everything including the corners. But, but in the Mega Mix, we'll do each step once. So we'll um, have the edges and then we'll permute them at once. This is part one of part two on how to solve the Mega Mix last year. Part one is edge, but this is this. So really, on uh, normally on a Rubik's Cube, you have a lot of scenarios with this light, lonely white circle. Well, what we will do, we'll just do this algorithm, and then you would do it again, based on different scenarios. So that's what we do, we do use the same algorithm. Except, on a Rubik's Cube, you get a white cross, and here, we want to get a yellow star. Well, first things first, did you know that some, um, um, Scenarios on this is equivalent to this. For example, a scenario like this where you only have one edge done is equivalent to a lonely circle on a Rubik's Cube. So couldn't you just use the same light to do it? That is exactly correct. Well, you might think we're done with the view, right? Well, yeah, if you get what I mean, yeah, you could go ahead and do it. But I'm going to show you right now if you don't get what I mean. So if this is equivalent to this, well, when we have a lonely circle on a, on a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube, we would just do the algorithm. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, to get a different scenario. Well, that's what we could just do with this. This one star bit, or one edge looking at it, is equivalent to a lonely circle. So could we just do the algorithm like that? Well, let's do it. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, Front inverted. As you can see, we got a we got a different scenario, just like this. Well, just like the second scenario, we still need to get all five, but we haven't done it yet. So now, when you get rid of the yellow, the would we the own yellow would we yellow edge piece, you should get one of three scenarios. Well, I apparently got this scenario. Well, this scenario is actually equivalent to this. In the Rubik's cube, we have two adjacent white edges here. We have three adjacent yellow edges, which are all of them are adjacent to one another. So usually on a on a three by three Rubik's cube, we put it in the top left corner and then do front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. The algorithm, and it will get us a different scenario like this. Well, that's what we do here. We would put it on the top left corner and then do front. Like, if you have a scenario like this, like, there'll be one here, one here, one here. So, turn it, so it's, like, on the top left corner, and then do front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And we'll get a different scenario. So, the last scenario on a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube, before you get the white cross, is when you have two white edges across from each other. And then you would do front, right, up. Right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. With the two across edges um, being sideways instead of right here. Then you would get the white cross. Well, see it's here. Well, how does this relate to a straight line? This is my question for you. How does this equivalent to this? Well, look, it's like an arrow which is pointing somewhere. See? Like, this is like the tails of an arrow. This is pointing somewhere. So, couldn't we just do the same algorithm to get the yellow star well yeah if it's facing sideways like this we could just do front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted and that'll give us the yellow star these are all the scenarios i just showed you so using what we know on our rubik's cube we can find equivalent scenarios to solve it on this this is the end of part one well, now it's part two of this. We're going to have to orient these edges so they all match with these centers. And there may be multiple scenarios I got to show you. So when you keep turning it, and then you only find one edge piece that maps up with its center. Well, and none others. You better do this algorithm so that all of them match up. So if all you have one that matches up with their center when you keep turning it, and none of the others do. Just do this algorithm. And it'll hopefully it'll get all of these done. And the algorithm is right, up, 
right inverted up right up to inverted right inverted well it turns out it didn't what well no it gave us a different scenario where there are two adjacent edges this may be another scenario for that you have so if you have two adjacent edges you have to do this move again with one edge on the left and one facing you the algorithm is right up right inverted up right up to inverted right inverted as you can see that fixed all of the edges but what if you don't have a scenario like that there's one final scenario the final scenario you may have is when you have two across from each other so you want to hold it it's like that the two across from each other there's one facing you and then the other one is on the top right and then you want to do the algorithm by the way for any other scenarios if it didn't work redo the algorithm pushing it in the same format so like for example if i if i do this algorithm and it didn't work do it again because it may cycle the edges again the same position and then it may do it so the algorithm is right up right inverted up right up to inverted right inverted and as you can see it gave us a different scenario and it didn't solve it for us so we got this two adjacent edges scenario again and remember the two edges will be right here one will be facing you one will be over here and then you'll do the out if you got a different scenario remember what i said do what i told you before and hold it like i want it so you'll just keep switching back and forth between this algorithm it'll be right up right inverted up right up to inverted right inverted and as you can see, that didn't do it either. So remember, we have to do this one more time. So it can cycle the edges one more time. So remember, the two adjacent edges are right here. We do it again. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up to inverted, right inverted. And as you can see, that solves all of these edges. They're all matched to the edges. This is the end of this section. This is how to solve the edges of the top layer. Thank you for watching. I hope you have, hopefully this video helped you with the comparison of the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Remember, if you're always stuck, you can compare it back here and it may help you. But the, remember one thing, the, the, the way you do the final layer is different. You solve, you do, you... You do the OLL for edges and then the POL for edges and then you do all, so you fix all the edges first and then do the corners. Except on this you do edge corner, edge corner. So hopefully this helped you and thank you for watching. Bye bye.